Hey everybody, it's Party Elite starting up a new campaign here today. By popular request, that is 57% of the vote, we're going to go with the Crooked Moon, or in other words, Skarsnik. Now, we are going to be playing on hard difficulty, and that's just so that later on we can choose to change it to higher or lower, you know, if the mood's right. And apart from that, I am planning on scheduling this as well. Now, I'm actually thinking of live streaming my campaign play every weekday at 6 p.m. EST, alternating between Vlad and Skarsnik. Now, to stay up to date with that, just follow me on Twitter at underscore Party Elite. And if you're a subscriber, then there should be a little bell icon next to the subscribe button just below the video. If you turn that on, you should actually get notifications of when I get live. Uh, but apart from that, if you follow me on Twitter, I will be posting updates, especially if timings need to be adjusted. I'll keep you up to date through Twitter and, you know, a video call out maybe. But hopefully this will give us a chance to hang out and you could yell at me when I miss something on the campaign map. And if things go well, I might start live streaming battles again. Maybe some Civilization VI. The possibilities are endless. Also, I, uh, I do want to mention, I had the honor of being on a podcast the other day. It's live now, and we talk about Total War, among other things. So it'd be awesome if you went and checked it out. The link is in the description below and probably on screen somewhere here right now as well. Now, with that aside, let's get started. And remember, if you'd like to keep this going, just let me know with a like and a comment. It lets me know that you guys are interested, and at the end of the day, that's what matters most. From your redoubt in Karak Asgaraz, you have plotted your return to the Eight Peaks, stolen by filthy, aphidious, green rebels. The road back to the peaks will not be simple. You must head east into Empire territory. Humans have no love for greenskins, so you must fight tooth and nail to overcome them. Past the Empire, both the Border Princes and the Dwarves will attempt to hamper you further, but you must destroy all in your path. To the south, in Karak Aizor, the foul Belagar Iron Hammer has aspirations to reclaim his ancestral home. The Eight Peaks are yours, Skarsnik. Do not relent until the threat is dealt with and they are back under your control. Your enemies are belligerent and won't necessarily cow down to your indomitable will. They need to be tamed, broken, or annihilated. You have overthrown rebellions before, and will do so again. All those who oppose you will face your rage, and then the hunger of Gobbler, of course. Destroy and devour all those who stand against you. Excellent. Lovely little intro there again from Intro Buddy. Thank you very much. Chapter Objective. Warlord Skarsnik, the self-styled Warlord of the Eight Peaks, sat atop a dwarf throne, laying waste, etc., etc. Havoc, etc., etc. Yes, yes, yes. Excellent. Karak Eight Peaks, the very core of this campaign, must be conquered. Taking note of the game effects below will aid you in capturing the most important settlements. So I go over... Uh, some of the stuff in my overview video, and if you haven't seen that yet, there should be a little eye at the top right corner of the screen right now. If you click on that, it will lead you to my little overview video of the DLC content that we just got, uh, including, for example, uh, Skarsnik and his buddy Gobla and what all that entails. Now, we will actually be approaching this maybe a little differently. So here's the thing. If you were the warlord of a place, right? Like, let's take a look at where we are. We're up here at Karak Azagar. Uh, sorry, Asgaraz, and, uh, and Eight Peaks is right there. Well, spot on, my, my geography is perfect. So, you're quite a bit away from home, you left your home to go hunting, you know, now what would you do in real life if you found out that you were overthrown by a rebellion? <laughs> oh my god, that was brilliant. <laughs> Um, so what would you do if you found out that you were overthrown by a rebellion, right? Like, what would Skarsnik do? I don't think he would settle here and make a home away from home and then go back and, you know, fight prim and proper. I think he would run back. I think Skarsnik would abandon his situation here and, uh, and rush back. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to try and get to Karak Eight Peaks as quickly as possible, all the way down here, all right? And we're going to circumvent everything. So a little lesson in evasive maneuvers as we play through this, uh, you know, first act of this campaign. Um, now, I do say first act. It is quite a hefty campaign. It's not just about taking Karak Eight Peaks. The long campaign has a lot of factions that need to be destroyed or, you know, otherwise consumed. 
Um, <laughs> a lot of work to do. So for this first act, we're gonna run home. And so we're gonna send our uh, boss here, Slidemiza. All right, let's send him forward. A little scouting. Get some scouting done. All right, all right. Uh, let's move into March and rush our way home. Now, back in Karak Asgaraz, I don't imagine I'll be keeping it for very long. So what I'll do is I'll actually get myself... Hmm. I get myself the Goblin Watchtower. Gives it a decent garrison. So let's do that. Let's get a let's get a goblin watchtower. And we can upgrade this as well. That way, because of global recruitment, I can actually build this army up if I'm ever in a raiding uh, camp. Uh, because right now we're going very lean and mean. I have I have nothing here. Spider is gonna be super helpful, you know, obviously like I've got okay units, but this is by no means a large army. So maybe those upgrades at Karak Asgaraz will help kind of retain control of it for at least a few turns. It's not going to last a very long time. But uh, we'll see what we can do <laughs> with there. All right, Karl Franz himself is trying to ambush me. This action does not have my consent. <laughs> it's probably my favorite line. Oh, block. Okay, I thought I had a 60% chance of assassinating him. That would be... That'd be great. All right, let's try and level this guy up as we go along. Damage some walls here. Come on. Excellent. Excellent. Let's get you a wolf. Let's get you bloody blade and work down that path. Now, I do want to point out that um, with uh, with Skarsnik, I want to make sure as soon as I hit rank four, I get drip and tips. Poison attacks for every unit in the Lord's army. So that's, I mean, that goes without question. That's a great upgrade. So I need to keep that in mind. Apart from that, Let's push further south. I'm trying to, let's see. I want to make sure I don't get stuck in with anybody. Let's go this way. Past Nuln. Don't mind me. Nothing happening here. Making a decent amount of money. All right. Let's keep it going. Let's see how far I can get in this session. Let's see how close I can get to uh, Karak Eight Peaks. I don't know if I'll be able to take it. I think this will probably be a... What? Come on, really? Okay. Um, <laughs> this will probably be a 30 minute session to start us off. Maybe it'll end up as an hour, we'll find out together. But um, but yeah, we'll see how close I can get to Karak 8 Peaks. Now, can I get farther with the underway? Yeah, I can. So let's just use the underway here, a little bit further south. And, oh, I was looking to see if construction was done, but it looks like we've met Vicious Gobspit. Skull Takers. Alright. Oh, wait. What? <laughs> Mutinous Gits. I love it. Love it. Alright. Let's get a non-aggression going. I don't want any... Yeah, let's avoid any conflict. Excellent. Don't want to die before I get further in. Um, okay. Now, I do want to mention... I may have mentioned this already before in this very stream, but I am open to name suggestions. So if you, you know, would like to name a unit or a character, uh, I'm open to it, but let's try and keep that green skin feel going, you know, so the typos and the misspelling. All right. I might stand a chance here. Um, uh, yeah, I think I have a, I think I have a chance here. Let's try it out. Okay, so let's see what we can do here. Now, obviously, this attack is not a surprise whatsoever. Um, can leave a city empty like that. That's way too far. Can I even deploy here? I can. I mean, I don't know if it'll make that much of a difference deploying them back here. May as well have just deployed them closer, but we'll see how this works out. Let's see. So let's try and hold this somewhat of a hill that we've got there. Fair number of archers. You know, this could actually work out just fine. Which is great. I didn't think I'd be able to hold this city. Expected a bigger army to come. I mean, a bigger army will probably come sooner rather than later. I'm going to keep my commander here just to get his, uh, you know, inspiration bubble. These guys, I'm going to tuck away to the side. And I'll just pull them in. Hopefully, there's something of a flanking opportunity and I can pull them in from the side. 
Uh, yeah. All right. All right, they do have stock, so I should be able to move in. Just push these guys in. We need to take care of the artillery right away, of course, because that is going to hit as soon as I crest this hill. Oh, oh, oh! How many did I lose there? Just a couple. Just just a few, rather. Okay, let's not play around too much here. Run! Okay, let's pull back just a touch. Don't want to take that damage while I'm waiting for these guys to show up. Still hidden. Stay hidden. Let's halt them there. Okay. I'm hoping... Oh. Okay. Come on, come on. Losing many a good uh, goblin here. Pull back a bit more. These guys are almost here. If I can just avoid engaging... Let's focus down on these guys first. That should be extremely helpful for me. Ooh. Last good hit. Uh, should be fine. Oh man, they're taking leadership damage, of course. Okay, alright. Flying dwarfs. God, I'd hate to be up against those spiders. Dwarf or not, that must be frightening, especially when they can jump like that. Excellent. Gotta make sure these guys don't actually engage me, though. Want to get decent charges in, of course. Uh, all right. Let's hold him in place, and let's push down. Let's keep, keep him going as well. All right. All right. Yeah, we should have this defense proper. These guys might actually run away. Let's charge into those corvers, make sure they can't open fire at us. Uh, hmm. Might be a problem. All right, all right, all right. Let's not lose it now. We had a decent start. Let's not lose it now. Okay, get them in from the rear. Pull these guys back. Get another charge in. Yeah, those are destroyed. Charge in there. How's their lord doing? Come on, show me his morale. Okay, he's still fine, actually. It's okay. The rest of his army should fall pretty easily. Then it won't be a problem at all. Let's keep these cycles going. Make sure I don't let myself, you know, lose my uh, focus just because things are going well right now, because that's the fastest way to lose a battle. All oh, right. Why are you guys just relaxing there? Uh, too far. Let's pull these guys back in. All right. I don't care if those guys come back f to fight some more. We'll be okay. Oh, these goblins are dying. We got this. Come on, give me a nice charge here. As I talk about staying focused and making sure I don't uh, let people die in mostly. Alright, let's get a charge from you guys then. And you guys hunt those down. Okay, we should be fine here. This guy should give up pretty soon. I should hope. I should hope. Lost quite a few people, but you know, I'm like, I'm not surprised by that. 
it was. I mean, my, my army is pretty low tier. They're all just low tier goblins. <laughs> Yes. Come on. Oh. Can I help these dwarfs uh, learn how to fly? It's my, uh, it's my goal in life. I just want to help them progress as a people, you know? Okay, do I really have to, like, spend the rest of this battle now trying to whittle this guy down? Because that... That's where I start to get a little annoyed. You should just give up already. Just surrender. Alright, let's pull these guys back so he's not winning his current combat, and then we can focus fire on him, and that should bring his uh, will to fight to a halt. Yep, that should help. Come on. No? Alright. Let's get a surround on him again. <laughs> and let's get a charge on him. Possibly if they can navigate their way through that mess. I'll probably have a skip button on the screen right now just so we're not wasting time watching this as I'm wasting time fighting this just to kill one last person. Literally? Literally. Come on, there we go. Took some time. Did I lose a single unit? I lost a unit, yeah. Alright. Decisive victory nonetheless. Didn't think I would be able to keep this place for so long, but you know what? It happened. I actually performed decently. Good job by the gobos. These guys got no action, but that's okay. They were engaged with the uh, the enemy lord, Brock Iron Pick. Wish I'd killed him. 142 we killed. Alright, do we eat them? Do we slaughter them? Or do we ransom them? No, no, no. No, no, we're gonna eat them. That's what you get for coming to my house. Well, not my house, my, like, house away from... My home away from home. You know what it is. Okay, what? What? <sighs> really? Okay. Actually, wait, let's see if I can do anything to this guy. No, I can't. 5% is not good. Let's damage these walls here. Again, just try to level that guy up. Excellent. Just like that. If I can select him. Let's see. I don't necessarily want the spider. The strider attribute is good. Armor bonus is nice. I don't... Uh, the spider can wait for now. Might flip to it later. Okay. Uh, I should be able to use the underwear underway safely. Push down. And let's see, what's our situation back here? Surprisingly, I actually have... <laughs> the obedience is dropping, though. That's not good. I should be... I should maybe recruit a little bit before I push further south. We'll do that next turn, I think. I'll go into a raiding camp and then, uh... and then recruit some units, because I can. <laughs> Alright. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Brenstat, so we're, I think, halfway there? Oof, let go the Skull Takers. Alright. Uh, how much can I make by raiding here? 131. Uh, I'm actually going to move a little bit further south. The last thing I want is like a multi-pronged attack when I'm raiding. So let's move a little bit further. Send Buddy here up first. Just so he can see what the situation is. No walls, no walls, okay. Uh, let's move you down this way. Okay, we're pretty clear. Uh, we are pretty clear. My fightiness, it's going down. I wonder if I should, like, attack... Raiding will help. If I hit Migdal Vongalbarak... Which isn't... Very heavily defended... 
It'll give me some fightiness. It'll give me some money. I could raise it, I guess. And uh, that might be good, because I do want to get a wah going as soon as possible. Karak 8 Peaks is not going to be easy to take. Um, and, you know, on the path to there, I might face quite a few struggles as well. Oh, what's this? This shouldn't be a problem. Okay. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. We're going to see if I can... Wanna block him? No, I don't really care if he's in that fight. No walls to damage? Okay. So let's get him... Might as well block, just for the money, not the money, the uh, experience. Let's see if that works. Excellent. Slide a scarred. Vanguard deployment is helpful. Don't have any wolf riders or anything yet to accompany him, so that's okay. Let's drop that. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So I don't want to attack this turn. This turn, sorry. So let's get you marching. Just want to double check. Oh, okay, to fifty percent, and then I can't move after. Yep. So it's exactly as usual. So let's tuck in here. Let's go into the raiding camp. Making less money here. Well, live a life of regrets, that's okay. Let us get... Let's see. Do you like nasty skulkers? Might stay here for just a couple turns. Yeah. I'll see how that works out for me. Raid some, help my fightiness, hit this place up, maybe raise it. What? Why? Uh, okay, so I'm probably losing that uh, place back there. Oh, what do you want? Really? I didn't do anything to you. Oh, this is tough. Oh, this could be really bad. <laughs> Defeat belonging to... Okay, either the, either Zufbar or the Dwarfs. Bloody Spears will like me more. Zufbar. We're familiar with Zufbar. They're somewhere here. Wait. That's Zufbar. You know what? Maybe I hit these guys instead. Uh, oh, they have a better... <sighs> defense setup. All right. Puts me in an interesting situation. Puts me in an interesting situation. Yeah. Attack? No. Okay, one more turn. This guy can recuperate. Get uh, get these guys set up. I can take this place. Won't be enough to get a wa going already. But we'll see what happens. Again, playing this more like a horde army, I guess. Oh, I can't fight that. <laughs> if that comes to take Karakazgaraz, it's gone. Hmm, all right. Okay. Is that big enough or good enough to defeat these two? I should be fine. Dwarf warriors, three miners, two more miners, and then Sven Red Axe. But I've got me. Slide of Scarred can join in. Of course not. Okay. I want to wait another two turns. Is the big question. I think I will. Let's not be too hasty here. We saw what happened last time when I get hasty. Oh boy. Yeah. Oh, they're just raiding? Oh, they're besieged. Okay. That was the uh, icon there. Kazrak the One-Eye. Where are you? All the way up here. Okay, okay. Alright. That is irrelevant to me. Okay. Except because it's besieged. Can't recruit, of course. Alright, time to go fighting. Let's... 
let's see what uh, happens here. I mean, we're almost... See, if I call it here, we're at 25 minutes. I could call it a day here, and then we get to see what happens live. No, yeah, I can't. I can't leave it here, though. This is too close. Yes, they a war. Got a heat and uh, do a reckoning. I don't know, we'll see about that. Lightning strike. Which makes it worse for me. What? Why? Yeah, prevent reinforcements. So that sh should be better for me. Okay, whatever. I'm not going to question it. Let's see. Unbreakable, 5 attack, 5 defense, and causes fear. Um, Alright. Everyone's got low leadership, so... <laughs> Unbreakable. And then 5 attack. Oh man, everyone's pretty bad. Okay. Let's give it to one of these guys. Actually, wait. Sorry. Let's give it to one of these guys. Then we can get the effects hitting more often, and that should be fine. And their damage, weapon strength is armor piercing, which is better. Okay. Yeah, let's do this. Alright, so because of that last battle, I actually completely forgot that my main army has an Arachnarok spider. So this should not be that much of a problem for me, actually. Now, the question is, what do I expect the enemy to do? Alright, alright. Should I assume... I'm gonna assume a relatively central deployment here. I think that's safe. Uh, we wanna pull these guys from the rear, though. Do I have space back here? No. Should have space back here, though. Yeah, there we go. Alright. So I'll straighten them out later, and then it'll take them some time to get... Where are we going? There. Eh, it should be fine, though. Better than pulling them around. You guys, though, will hide you in there. Spider off the side here. Okay. So let's get this set up for victory. For the inevitable victory. <laughs> Watch this all fall apart. Alright. Of course. Of course. Um, okay, so these guys all have stock, so they'll be safe. Hmm. Might not be too bad. Because, again, the spider will be helpful against, uh, against most of these guys. That rear charge, the poison, it should all... should all be pretty good. All be pretty good. Yeah. Let's speed that up a little bit. Don't want them running. I don't want to waste their uh, waste their energy. Oh, what are you planning? Nothing. I hope. Excellent. Very eager. The spider it causes terror as well, so that's good. And I've got these guys. They cause terror as well. They're unbreakable, or they cause fear. Sorry, not terror. Smoke bomb. <laughs> Negative seventy-six percent speed on dwarfs. What does that even... I mean, man. Yes, it's percentage-based, so it's not like they, they're they at a standstill, but it's just funny to think about, because if they weren't slow enough... Okay. Let's get ready to go here. Okay. I'm gonna drop this on. On these guys. Alright. I ah, just missed these guys. That's okay though. Push in, push in, push him in around. Alright. We should be good over here. I want to try and get. Uh... Oh, he's actually coming through. Excellent. That works for me, buddy. That works for me. Oh, really? Just want to rear charge in there. Pop these guys. Oh yeah, this shouldn't be a problem at all. These guys are... These guys are gonna fold. 
Yeah! <laughs> there we go. Beauty. Excellent. Keep pushing through. I love the artwork. I love the spider. Just so nicely done. Probably one of my favorite looking units. That and the Mortis engine. Okay. That's almost done. That didn't take very long. Do I wanna... I mean, there's no point. Now let's pull them back. I don't need to lose more people than absolutely necessary. Of course, I do have to recuperate this army after the fact. So let's just make sure we're not <laughs> wasting any time. Wow. And here I was worried that this battle would take us over time by far too much, but uh, here we are. Decisive victory. Excellent. That was fast. Lost 115. It's not too bad. Everyone performed pretty well. Yeah, everyone performed okay. Skulkers, though. Nice. Good stuff. Sorry, Sven or Red Axe. Let's do this. Alright, decisive victory. Excellent. The money. Uh, loot and Occupy. That's not enough to make me damage this place and have to deal with public order. I could sack. And just leave. But I do want to recruit some troops. Okay, let's Occupy. Sven Redax, our enemy belonging to Karak Hirn, has perished in the battle at Migdal Vangalbrak, Black Mountains. Excellent. Armor of Destiny, nice. Okay, plus six armor, 10% ward save, and 10% physical resistance. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Alright, so let's level, uh, slide a scarred up a little bit. Uh, dodgy geezer. Missile resistance is good. Uh, chance of spying by foreign armies. You want to flip back down here? No, I don't think that's necessary. Let's go dodge a geezer and now let's look at Skarsnik himself. This would make sense in my current situation considering what I'm up to, but I'm already pretty close to home. Let's go with Blade Master. And, uh, let's see, let's recuperate, replenish, and do I not have any? Oh, really? Okay. That's unfortunate. Just looking around here. Okay. So we're going to get a Musta Fields. Thankfully, it'll only take one turn. Then I can just gobble this army up, get a bunch of <laughs> goblins going. Um, population surplus in 10 turns. That's madness. Okay, so it'll take some time. It's gonna take me some time, but that's okay. We're not gonna stay here for too long, get a bunch of goblins, and probably just push further down to Karak 8 Peaks. Our fightiness has shot up decently. Change per turn is 14, so that's good. Maybe a little bit more raiding, and we might have a, uh, a wah going for me. And we can actually hit up uh, some of these other people. Uh, let's see. No, no. It'd be nice to confederate or vassalize some of these uh, lesser tribes. Hmm. That's not bad. I think we're going to call the session here. We made it about halfway home. We started all the way up here, made it up to there, and that's our destination. So, you know, yeah, we're about halfway home. Not bad. And I feel like it's more appropriate of uh, for what, uh, what Skarsnik might actually do. Now, let's see our situation here real quick. I don't know what we're up against, but it can't be good. I can't get anything because I'm under siege, so I can't improve my garrison or anything. So I'm prepared to lose Karak Asgaraz, but that's okay because, you know, we've got Migdal Vangalbrak here, and uh, we're just going to keep pushing, keep going home. I don't care about my cottage by the uh, by the woods. Whatever. I don't, care about, I don't care about my cottage in the north. And uh, yeah, we're going to call it here. I just want to say thank you guys very much for watching. As always, if you enjoyed this session, you want to keep it going, make sure you drop a like and a comment. It lets me know, of course, that you're having fun. And as I said before as well, might actually be live streaming these now. So follow me on Twitter at underscore party elite for updates on that. And as before, as with the vampire count uh, campaign as well, if you have name suggestions for any of these units that are, you know, performing well or for characters or cities or anything, 
let me know. Let's just keep them in the green skin world, but let me know and I'll happily drop them in. Apart from that, once again, thank you guys very much for joining me, and I'll see you next time.